All right, so welcome back to Win On Your Wedding Day. I'm Robert Burns here with Robert Burns II Photography and helping you to win on your wedding day. We are talking about today eight college campuses in the Charlotte area that double as beautiful locations to do your engagement photo shoot. So I know about, you know, your Freedom Parks, your Marshall Parks. I know about some of the pretty parks on campus. And I do highly recommend those locations to everybody out there who's looking for uh, an, an amazing engagement shoot location. However, if you like the idea of doing um, your engagement session at a university campus, a big sprawling campus where you've got multiple buildings to choose from, you've maybe some of them got the colonial feel, you want some brick, you want that building architecture, you want that plaza feel, you want to be able to walk from building to building to building and kind of have different backdrops, um, nice blue sky, you know, you want to deal with some of the, like have some of the foliage, you want a nice variety with your engagement session, you might highly consider some of Charlotte's campuses. Compared with some other cities, Charlotte has a high number of universities um, for the size of our city and for the number of people we have here. And some of them look really, really, really pretty. Now, a lot of people, if you live here, know about UNCC, which does top my list. However, there are many other um, campuses that would be great for you to check out. So we're gonna jump right into this list of nine. Sorry, we're gonna jump right into this list of eight and I will be sharing with you my recommendations on why these campuses look so good. So let's go. Starting with UNCC, University of Charlotte, uh, <laughs> University of North Carolina in Charlotte. And it is a beautiful location. It's big, it's known, everybody knows the 49ers. We're only growing, we've been growing for the last several years. And here's a, here's a fun fact, maybe you've heard of UNCC, but you've never really visited campus, or the last time you visited was 10 years ago. They have poured a ton of money into construction on campus. So if the last time you went was four, five, six, seven, eight years ago, um, they've renovated a lot of the buildings and a lot of just the grounds, especially with the installation of the light rail, they started changing things over around uh, UNCC campus. So if you haven't been in a while, definitely go out there and, and, and check it out for your engagement session. Um, of course, you've got, you know, the Hayes Stadium, but you also have um, you know, the various, um, you've got a lot of buildings on campus. You've got this, uh, I don't, I did, I'm not a UNC guy. I went to Georgia. However, you've got the student center here and that photographs really well in terms of, um, in terms of pictures. So like the, if you stand, the further back you stand from that, the student, the student center, the better it can actually look. I'm just trying to pull up some pictures here of it. Um, like here, if you're, if you're on the ground, student union, and then you're using like a wide angle lens, that can look amazing, you know? So UNCC has, you know, and like I mentioned, some of this almost kind of, it's like a, it's like a modern kind of colonial uh, look to it. You've got a ton of brick, this red really comes out, and then this teal that goes with it. So the coloration of these campuses really, really can stand out. Uh, Charlotte Strong, you know, and this is a great location. I've done photo shoots here before where this location right here just looks great. It's like the student union. So I would say the student union would probably be one of the, the, the best areas on campus. But then you've also got like this big clock here. So I, I, I'm just telling you, this is this is a, this campus photographs really beautifully. Um, so I'm just definitely give this place a look for your engagement session. Look at how beautiful it is. So I would say UNCC would be probably topping my list. Um, next up we would have Davidson College. 
which is definitely has a different kind of more um, old time feel. Um, and Davidson College is based in Davidson, North Carolina. So it's actually about 25 minutes north, maybe 30 minutes, depending on the traffic. Could be a little bit more, you know, if you get stuck. Um, but Davidson is based on, is, is Davidson College. Um, it's a smaller school than UNCC. Um, you can see how beautiful it looks when it's snowing. <laughs> I suppose it could look really good for a photo shoot too. But um, you've got this, like, look at this. Like, this is the campus. Look how beautiful that, that photographs. You know, it was definitely something that could look really nice for your engagement session. So I, I think, um, look at these huge trees, very mature. You've got this architecture that is certainly, um, it's, it's got a nice dated, classic, um, um, just old school feel. The adjectives aren't coming to re me right now, but I can tell you that this would look phenomenal. Uh, for for an engagement session and you don't have to be placed right here you could be way far away way far away and use a wide-angle lens and that would just look amazing with you two just underneath this one building you could do your entire photo shoot right here and really not go anywhere else and I guarantee you you know it would look amazing so I would say Davidson College is a great place but to also to go with Davidson College you have downtown Davidson which is a nice feel it's a it's a really nice um, it's a it's a really and it's not that far from Lake Norman so Lake Norman and Davidson are kind of all in the same area but when you go to like downtown Davidson like you've got uh, several different streets to walk um, that's kind of what Davidson looks like and you can walk through and just it's just a nice small town kind of a vibe you know you've actually got a couple murals too so Davidson is 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 definitely a, a good look if you're looking for um, you know small town college feel because that's exactly what Davidson is Davidson College is so definitely number two on my list Davidson three CPCC, Central Piedmont Community College, actually has a very beautiful campus. They, they, people sleep on it. Also, if you want to get a nice view of uptown, the skyline, go to Central Piedmont um, Community College or CPCC. Um, and the uptown, because they, they have several different locations. So the uptown location would be a great place to get a view of uptown and then also do a, a photo shoot on the parking garage. Um, so this is the Levine campus. Several different campuses that can photograph really well. This is actually the student deck that I was just talking about, the parking lot. So if you were to go up to, this is off 7th Street, if you were to go up here, um, I think it's like the third or fourth floor, again, you have that uptown view. So you don't have that many skyline views that look amazing at the right distance in Charlotte, but this would be one of them. Um, and then, of course, you've got the ground view as well. So, you know, if you guys have a, an affinity to CPCC, you guys graduated from one of any of these colleges, really, um, or you just like that feel of being on a college campus, um, I would definitely suggest that you, you know, you look at CPCC. I think that could make a nice location for your engagement session. All right. So next on the list would be Queens University of Charlotte. Definitely, Queens University is um, is beautiful. I, I would say this photographs incredibly well. It's not that far from like your Myers Park, Selwyn area of, of, of town, which is in the city. It's on the south end of the city. It's actually very, very close to Freedom Park. If you know Freedom Park, um, you could probably hit Freedom Park and then head over to Queens University a little bit. So. Um, definitely a beautiful campus. Architecture is gorgeous. Brand new, really buildings that that photograph so well. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, Queens University would be great. They have these big chairs that you can use um, out here. Um, the, the Levine Center. I've done like family photo shoots there. I've done engagement sessions there. So this would definitely be a great place for your engagement session all right so next on the list we have 
Johnson and Wales University, and that's based in the city. That's actually um, we could would consider that uptown, beautiful, um, very picturesque, scenic. I mean, you can photograph within the city of Charlotte, nice blue sky, kind of shooting low to the ground, or you can you know shoot eye level. But Johnson and Wales. I think is a little bit slept on when it comes to using for engagement sessions here in town. I, I just definitely think that I'll probably be suggesting um, Johnson and Wales a little bit more often to my couples because, you know, people are just they want to they want something a little bit different. So I think Johnson and Wales University is a great uh, spot for your um, for your engagement session. Next up on the list is out in um, out in Belmont. Um, Belmont is Belmont Abbey College, and this is their this is their campus. It's actually um, it's actually for the um, the Benedictine monks is is where it originated. So this is a definitely an old um, old school architecture and usage. Um, so yeah, it started with the Benedictine Benedictine monks, and it's just been you know used over the years, and now it's you know they're open to everybody. But it's a beautiful campus. I mean, it's absolutely it's it's literally splendid. I, I just I don't use that word very often, but if you walk around camp, this is one of the most beautiful campuses I've ever seen um, to photograph on. I think this would be a phenomenal place. For your engagement session, if you like that kind of that Benedictine um, monk, that Abbey look to it, you've got that. Let's just look at some of the um, architecture, just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about there. Because this is, I mean, this is this is this is awesome, and the campus is fairly open too. So, meaning you don't need like permits to shoot on campus. You're not going to get stopped by people. Um, which is some of these locations, you know, outside of like the colleges, they charge for you to be on campus. But I, I really don't think that you should necessarily. I mean, seriously, look at how beautiful. Like I could just see us like doing a session like right here, like in these these archways. Like it's it could be amazing. So I mean, do you see how gorgeous this looks? Put you two right here. And I just photograph with you two right here and then have that building in the background. I mean, this is a phenomenal location. So Belmont Abbey College, don't sleep on it, okay? Next up on the list is Winthrop University. Slightly different feel, amazing campus though. I, I haven't spent as much time here as I, as, as I would have liked. I've been up here one time. Um, I think this would be a great spot for a photo shoot if you don't want something. If maybe the Belmont Abbey College is a little bit too, too, um, too Abbey-ish for you, and you know it's a little bit, um, it's too much of a commitment. You want something a little bit more modern looking. I would say Winthrop would be great, especially if you're based in like the Rock Hill or anywhere in York County. Um, if you're a South Carolina resident and you maybe don't want to come all the way up to Charlotte or God forbid you don't want to get all the way up to Lake Norman or um, Davidson, I would suggest Winthrop just due to proximity for you. I think Winthrop is a beautiful campus and some of these buildings look amazing. So if you know you want like that architectural look to it or maybe you have a connection to Winthrop, maybe you went to Winthrop, again, Winthrop would be a fantastic spot for you to do your engagement session simply just based off of the, uh, the proximity. Last up on the list, we have Wingate University. And Wingate isn't actually based in Wingate, um, you know, South Carolina. So I would definitely suggest you check this place out as well. Um, it's not my favorite on this list, um, but again, if you're looking for it, again, if you, if you have a connection to campus, um, certainly, you know, certainly consider it. And then also, if you, you know, Again, you don't you don't want to have to go all the way to Charlotte or somewhere north of the city or somewhere east or west of the city, and you know you want to stay in South Carolina. Then I think Wingate would be a good spot for you. 
because it does look beautiful. It's got these bricks and it is a pretty open campus as well. So that's eight locations for you that would be outside the beaten path, not you know the typical, that you could have an amazing engagement session and you know that's got that campus feel. Um, you could walk over, walk through campus, just bring your comfy shoes, and I think you'd have a great time. Your photographer will know exactly what to do. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one, and I hope this was helpful to you, all right? Take care.